just a girl, all sugar and spice. But my daddy said I didn't have to play nice. He said it's not about can't or can. I'm not trying to play it just like a man. Oh, that was a clip from the very talented Mindy A. Bear and Bone Shakers. And we are so excited to welcome Mindy to our show this morning to actually Thank talk you. about some live music that people can actually see in person now coming up this weekend. Mindy, good to see you. It's great to see you. Thank you for having me on the show. I think I'm more excited than anyone that live music is coming back. And I, I know it's not, uh, you know, the, the massive crowds and all that that we used to have, but I just love that it's back. And, and in this area, it means so much just to, you know, see my fans and my friends and, and play music and, and uh, feel normal again. It's like the, the coming back of normalcy. So many early. What is it going to look like? What can fans expect since the whole world is kind of different right now? This is going to have a bit of a different take. And it's at Ruth Eckerd, correct? It's at Ruth Eckerd, but I have to, to say it's not in the hall. We all know that big, beautiful hall that there's all these seats together. But what they've done is they've got this beautiful, beautiful atrium with these super high ceilings. And um, I'm in it right now. And it's just it's gorgeous. So they check your temperature as you walk in the door. You don't even know. It's just cool technology. And so everyone's safe when they get here. People buy a table so you can have your bubble, you know, at table of four. And then each table is probably 10 or 15 feet away from every other table. And they have little charcuterie plates and, you know, all all the fun adult beverages and then we are up on a stage and it's just it's going to be an amazing night so we've got a wine tasting uh for our company reserve tastings that's wine and music and then we've got you know this concert that we get to do so it's a hundred tickets per night and everything's socially distanced and i just think it's going to be beautiful i'm so excited Oh, I, I really think it's going to be super popular. Tell us about, you mentioned wine, and uh, I was going to ask what you have been doing during quarantine, because you've spent most of your time in California, but we're thankful you came home, we're going to say, yes. uh, for a little bit this weekend. But how have things been going? You know what? It, it, this has been a crazy year. You know, some people have kind of worked through it and and you know, had to wear masks and all of that. We all have our own things that we've gone through with it. For me, I, I was making a record and all of a sudden the world shut down. And that meant for me and my band that all of our shows got canceled. I mean, we haven't worked the entire year since March. And, you know, that's a that's a crazy thing to take away that that energy and that connection and all of it. So uh, our our wine and music club that we've had for now almost a year, it's called reservetastings.com. And my husband and I started it uh, late last year and just we wanted to travel more. We wanted to be together more. Um, he's been in the wine business forever, which is so cool. And it <laughs> music so well. So I know music, he knows wine. So we he finds all these cool wines. I get to do the artwork or find cool people to do music centric artwork and brand it. And then we have playlists that go with all the wine. So we're going to share that at Ruth Eckerd Hall. We're going to do a live tasting with everybody and show off our cool, you know, like hockey. How cool is nice. That? I know. Very cool. We're gonna play music that goes along with it and just pair the wine with the music and have fun. A new term, one of our guests actually just shared with us a pandemic positive, and uh, I think you found yours. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. It's like you you find different things to kind of focus on, and I've been playing. I actually finished my record in my closet. I set up a microphone. I learned how to record in my house. I mean, it was crazy. And in my closet, I finished the vocals to my album, which is, you know, now done. We're going to play a few songs, you know, new songs over this weekend at Ruth Eckerd. So it, it really, I have found those positives and I have, you know, learned and grown. And I think it's been a really nice time to just be, you know, be cool for a little while and self-reflect and, and now it's ready to make some noise. <laughs> well, I think we've made some noise, putting some positive vibes out there. You did spend some time with some youngsters 
explain what you were able to do with this with children's books and reading you know what ruth eckert hall is so much more than just a place to play and i play everywhere in this country and all around the world so i get to see a lot of programs that people have what we have here in clearwater is super super cool and super special they've built schools for jazz they've helped kids with reading this particular venture that they've done is literature online and so they have people read these books to kids and i was just you know totally excited to read this book i love where the wild things are so uh, i got to even play sax in the middle because there's you know this ruckus that happens so i took out the sax and made my own ruckus and i just think it's it's really cool to get kids involved and you know they've got to be online like us um it can't be easy for them so give them a fun way to learn right no. Well, I think as we uh, get ready, we have about a little less than a minute left, but talk about the power of music as we get ready to close. And again, I think people are going to be able to see that this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, uh, open to the public. But the power of music in a time where I think it's so crucial and I think um, it's just so needed. I'm so glad that you're back. Uh, thank you so much. You know what? The power of music for all of us is is so incredible and music heals and music unites us. And you know, if, if we walk away with anything from this pandemic, I hope we walk away that, that we help each other and that we care about each other and that we love each other and that, you know, we see each other going through these, you know, these different effects from what the pandemic has brought. And I, I just want that. And I think it's, it's all about, for me, playing songs that promote that and bring people together. And that's what this weekend's gonna be. And well, some adult beverage <laughs> our wine company. So, yeah. I mean, that, that can't be a bad I'm thing. I'm a little either, jealous, right? Wendy. I'm a little <laughs> jealous that I can't be there. To you. Cheers to the upcoming weekend. Lots of fun. I've got my coffee. You've no, got your wine. I have water. I've moved on to water this morning. <laughs> I'll get you guys later with the, you know. <laughs> Wendy, we're such big fans. Please check in again soon, okay? Keep us updated. Thank you for having me on. It's great to see you guys. Thank you. And of course, uh, we'll put more details on how to get those tickets for this weekend. The socially distant concerts are here. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mindy. We'll be Thanks. right back.